For this side tripper, we visited Valley View Glades in Hillsboro, Missouri. Glades are truly unique Missouri ecosystems. A glade is a grassy, flowery opening near a forest. It has rocky, shallow soil, and the land is often sloped. Because of the direction the land slopes, as well as the shallow soils, glades are often hot and dry. This prevents the rapid growth of trees. We're going to share some of the interesting things we learned about glades, so that you can appreciate your visit to this location through the lens of science in addition to appreciating its beauty. One of the first things we noticed is that our glade had lots of rocks on it. So we wondered, what kind of rock is this? How was it made? Valley View Glades has dolomite rock in it, and this rock is over 450 million years old. When it was formed, Missouri was covered in a shallow ocean. Dolomite is a sedimentary rock that is formed when pieces of shell, coral, and other minerals get smashed together with high pressure over lots of time. A lot of plants in the glade have some cool adaptations to deal with the hot, dry conditions. For example, flowers might have long roots so that way they can soak up lots of water. Or these black-eyed Susans, which were covering the field that we saw, they have hairs on their leaves so that way they reduce their water loss through evapotranspiration. Because glades are so hot and dry, they host some pretty unique species, like striped bark scorpions, Missouri tarantulas, prickly pear cacti, and greater roadrunners. Well, we didn't see any of them. Check out this beautiful collared lizard. We didn't see any of these either, and that's because they're rare. People trap them and sell them as pets. The black-eyed Susans were some of the most common types of flowers we saw, but that wasn't the only kind. So we wondered, how many different types of flowers are in this glade? You can find over 250 types of flower species in Missouri glades. I found 18 of them. We noticed the hiking trail was leading from the glade into the forest. So we wondered, are there different living things in the forest compared to the glade? In addition to the flowers, be on the lookout for beautiful moss, lichens on trees, and a wide variety of fungi. In the forest, we noticed a turtle that was in a pool of mud. We wondered, is this turtle stuck? Should we help it? When we found the turtle, it looked like it was trapped in mud, but it wasn't, and we tried getting it out, and we could, and it hissed at us. When we came back, it was in that mud again, and I think it was making making a nest to lay eggs or it was just having a little napping area. We also noticed a lot of different rocks on the trail. We wondered, what is making these rocks break in this pattern? Wind, water, and human feet have done a lot to change the rocks on this trail. Remember that these rocks are over 450 million years old, so there's been lots of time for water to carve through them and make creeks and streams. We observed very few humans on our trail, but we wondered, how do humans impact this glade? If left alone, over time this glade would experience ecological succession and forests would take over. In the past, Native Americans burned the land so that way they would preserve the open area. Now, the Missouri Department of Conservation helps keep this area clear and beautiful. Valley View Glades was a really fun place to visit. There are a few things you should know before you go. The GPS can be a little tricky, so from Highway 21, go past Evergreen Drive just a little bit and look for Valley View Glades on the right. It does get busy on the weekends, so it's best to go early. The trail is a three mile loop, and there are lots of hills. The loose, rocky path can be slippery at times. And the trail can get narrow, so I do recommend tick spray. I hope you found this helpful. Now you can go outside and take your own side trip.